Former advisor to Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Scott Jennings, he was so smug. He was so right. Democrats were going to lose it all. They just made the mistake and put too much onto abortion. You guys are going to just hate it because you screwed up and now you want to talk about Social Security and all of that is what he said, right? And he was smug. He was so sure. And you have Obama uh, running for you now. You remember the last time Obama lost 65 votes? And by the way, uh, Obama wasn't any good anyway. Do you really win anything with Obama? And Karen reminded him, don't forget we didn't do badly in 2018 and Obama was out there helping us out too. But he continued with his smugness. I want you to listen to him. I want you to listen to Karen and now see what he has turned into. I mean, it's simply, he was simply wrong. The smug look of all of these guys are now gone. Check this out. You go back to 2010 and 2014, <laughs> amazing results when Barack Obama gets involved in a midterm. I think the fact that he's out there also tells you what we know about the election. Joe Biden can't be out there, so this is the only person they can put out. They have Democrats have bet everything on abortion, everything. No. And with nine days to go, it's Social Security, it's Medicare, it's fear, it's, and then it, and it finally it's we made a huge mess. And what are you going to do to clean it up? It's too late. It's not going to work. Yeah, so those are great talking points, Scott, but a couple <laughs> things. I do feel like the 2018 midterms when Barack Obama was out there went pretty well for Democrats. And we have seen president, uh, the president out there, the vice president. But here's the thing. A couple things. No Democratic candidate is solely running on reproductive freedom. Let's be clear. And by the way, it is about freedom, which is part of the conversation about democracy. However, and Kristen knows this when it comes to polling, it's not just about one issue. It's about the intensity that people feel about a cluster of issues. Black voters, number one issue, protecting voting rights. Number two issue, white supremacist violence. But above jobs and wages, above inflation in terms of top concerns, right? Because that impacts your ability to participate in the economy. For women, many women can hold two things at one time. Yes, she may be worried about the economy, but let's not forget, and I'll say it because even though I know some have been criticized, Reproductive freedom is an economic issue for women. The majority of people who have abortions in this country already have children, and they're worried about, can I afford to have more children? So they can hold, the voters are holding more than one issue. I don't think anybody knows exactly what's going to be the one thing that's going to drive people and how they vote. I think if, if you're not talking about inflation and you haven't been talking about inflation, you ought to be super nervous, and that is virtually every Democrat in the country. Not true. Did you see how he ended that? Like, oh, you guys, it's all over. These guys were absolutely sure. Well, you know what happened, right? Uh, Americans are a lot smarter than we think. And when you put them up against the wall, which sometimes it drives us crazy as activists, why do you have to wait for things to get out of control before you exert your voting rights, before you in exert the intellect we all know Americans have. Why do you wait? Why do you procrastinate? You know, the good thing about most of us is we understand that the American people are very, very smart. And ultimately, when they're about to hit that edge, they react. And you know who knew that? Karen Finney and a couple other pundits. The few pundits that didn't fall for the corporate attack, for the corporate state of of reason that somehow this was going to be a red wave, that somehow the Democrats had just gone too far. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.